you don't have to go through and do the least common denominator because you're going to be checking to simplify anyway. I mean, it's not wrong to find the least common denominator, but you don't have to. Let's say you have four thirds plus five six. Yes, I could absolutely just double this one and then add those together so they were the common denominator. But if you're working with fractions a whole lot, like adding and subtracting and all of that, if you just do the crisscross applesauce, sometimes it can be a lot faster. So now in this case, sure, I might look at this and go, oh, well, this is eight six, so this is 13 six. This one is pretty obvious that it's, you know, that the least common denominator is six, but if you do crisscross applesauce, that'll still work. So we've got 24 plus 15 over 18. So then I've got 39 over 18. And then I can simplify that down to 13 over 6. And then I would get 2 and 1 6. 